In this video, we will cover the instructions to the lab using cookies and sessions to implement a shopping cart. The purpose of the lab is to show you how to use cookies and dollar underscore session in order to implement a shopping cart. The steps are as follows. We add shopping cart functionality to products. In your editor, open up the products.php file, which is under model, which we created under suites complete. You will create a function double underscore construct, which starts the session. You will then add a function get details by ID. This function will accept a parameter ID, which represents the product ID. The function will search the database by product ID and then return either one row of data or a Boolean false. You will then add a function add product to cart. This function will accept parameters ID, quantity, and price. Inside the function, you will call get details by ID to retrieve one row of data from the database. Assuming that the row was retrieved appropriately, you will then add these details as well as the quantity and a price to a key in dollar underscore session. You will then define a new function, get shopping cart, which will return an array of database rows, which includes quantity and price, stored in dollar underscore session. The next step is to modify cart.php. You will locate this file under the suites complete folder. At the top of the file, make sure that you include products.php. You will also need to assign a variable to the class. You will then remove the previously defined variables $quantity1, $quantity2, $quantity3, $price1, 2, and 3, and also total. You will create a variable $cart, which will hold the results of get shopping cart, which comes from dollar products. In your editor, locate view.php. This file is located under Suites Complete, the view folder. You will create a new function, display cart. This will accept an array dollar cart as an argument. Dollar cart ultimately comes from the products file when you do get shopping cart. Inside cart.php, you will then need to locate where rows of products are displayed and make sure that you remove all except for one. You'll then move this display code from cart.php into the new function in view.php. You will then clean up and substitute the values from dollar cart. Make sure that the function also calculates the total. Replace the removed HTML in cart.php with a call to display cart from the view. In the next step, you will add the purchase to the cart. In your editor, under suites complete, locate purchase.php and open it. At the top of the file, make sure that you include and assign a variable to the class represented by products.php. Have the PHP script accept three parameters, product ID, quantity, and price. These will be coming in on the URL, so therefore you should look for them in dollar underscore get. Make sure that you follow the appropriate procedures for filtering and validation. If the validation fails, you will then want to set a failure code in a cookie called status. If the validation succeeds, set a success code in a cookie called status. You will then also need to make a call to add product to cart, which is under products, and include the parameters product ID, quantity, and price, which were gathered from dollar underscore get. You will then want to use header modification to redirect back to products.php. Accordingly, purchase.php does not need any display functionality, so you can remove all of the HTML which would normally follow after the closing tag. The next step then is to modify products.php. This is located in the suites complete folder. You will then want to check for a cookie called status. If the cookie status contains a success code, display a message added to your cart. Thank you. If status contains a failure code, then display a message something along the lines of sorry, problem adding this item to your cart. Also, make sure that products.php links to cart.php. And this should be at the top right of the screen when the page displays, and the link will say shopping cart. Finally, to test it as you have so far, from your browser, enter localhost, suites complete, purchase.php, and then add three parameters. This can be done by putting in a question mark, 
followed by the first parameter, for example, product ID equals 1, and ampersand, second parameter, for example, quantity equals 1, QTY equals 1, another ampersand, and the third parameter, price. So, for example, price equals 1.11. You should then be redirected back to products. At this point, you should be able to click Shopping Cart, and you should see the new purchase appear in your shopping cart. This concludes the instructions for the lab using cookies and sessions to implement a shopping cart.